program to find the second largest element in the array. All right, let me take the array which we have used in the last program. So here is the array. To get the second largest, we're going to use two variables. The first I'll call it as largest, the second one as second largest. Both of these I'll assign to int min. All right, now let's go to the for loop. For i equals 0, i less than array size i plus plus now in the loop if if this largest is less than any array element what i'll do is i'll store this large into the second largest then in this large element i'll store the the new large value other than this there is another possibility there should be an if else condition now before i write that condition let me show it with a diagram probably uh, the second largest is somewhere over here and largest is over here so this particular condition happens when the element is somewhere over here your arri is somewhere here which is greater than large and second largest so what we are doing we are changing it to over here and l we are taking it over here perfectly works now the second possibility is probably the element could be somewhere over here which is less than large but greater than second largest in that case i'll only change the second largest value to the new value so this is the second condition f the array element less than large and array element is greater than the second largest in that case i'll update the second largest element with the array that's it the third possibility is probably the array element could be over here but if it is less than both we don't need to worry we are only worried about largest and second largest all right this should work so let's put it on the machine program to find the second largest element in an array okay let me take the same array what we have used in the first program here we need a few variables one is largest the other one is second largest and i then again array size is basically size of the array divided by size of nth so size of basically gives the memory size of this which is 2 because int is 2 bytes 2 into multiplied by number of elements that is 20 but we need only the number of elements so we divide with the size of the n which gives the number of elements which we are storing it as array size now here let me print the elements let me copy from the last program okay after we print let's directly jump to the logic logic for second largest element so here we'll be using the for loop i i less than array size i plus plus as we iterate i need to check if the largest uh, is less than the element if at all if it is less what we're going to do is we'll update this second largest with largest then in the largest i'll take the array element okay one more thing i think we need to initialize these values so largest equal to second largest equals to int min now once we use int min yeah limits is already there now other than this the second possibility is probably the array element could be between these two values so that array element might be less than the largest and that array element might be greater than the second largest in that case i'll just update only the second largest with the array element all right then print the second largest or oh, let's type both the largest the largest is percentage d and second largest is percentage d i think this should work largest second largest okay let's compile this okay no errors all right largest is 201 and the second largest is 100 absolutely working one more uh, thing you need to understand here we had all uh, different elements there could be possibility where uh, you may have an array something like uh, 20 20 20 here all elements are same now what happens in this case let's check here you see that the largest is 20 the second largest you're getting the negative value that that's basically this value int min which is actually wrong that means this particular code will not work in each case so here i need to do some additional changes so here uh, what i'll do is if at all if i find the second largest element equal to the int min 
in that case i'll print there is no second largest element else this particular print now it should work yeah there's no second largest element if i remove this all right now it's working so this is more optimal code i hope you are clear with this Thank you.